And here come the Giants. They can pull within one if they can score here. That's Sutter with the ball to Meade. Meade has the hot hand. Shortridge by one. Leonard Taylor with the ball across the line. And a foul will be called on Meade. Meade fouls out by fouls, and he has the hot hand in this fourth period for Marion. Leonard Taylor with a one on one gets the first one. It's 54 52. Shortridge by two. A minute nine on the clock. Coming in from Marion in the place of Meade was Terry Scroggins, a six foot sophomore. Leonard Taylor's second shot is good. Leonard Taylor connects on one charity toss and Shortridge is ahead 56 to 54 with less than half a minute left. Marion in possession. If they hit the basket, it'll all be tied up. That's Javon Price. It goes to Ward who gets the basket. Larry Ward gets the basket as a substitute in there. And now Shortridge has 11 seconds. 10, it's all knotted. 56, 56. They'll go for one. It goes to Oscar Evans, three seconds. Will he get it? Yes, he gets it. Oscar Evans hit the basket just as the gun went off. And Shortridge defeats Marion 58 to 56 to earn the right to go into the championship game tonight. Tonight, it'll be Gary Roosevelt who won the first game 65 to 48 over Vincennes going against the Shortridge Blue Devils who just this minute defeated Marion's Giants 58 to 56 on a last second shot by Oscar Evans. <laughs>